Uh, it's very good to be here with head brother Augustine and brother Harry from the Melanesian Brotherhood. Thank you, uh, thank you for your visit to the UK. This is your first time to the UK yeah, yeah, and Devon. Yeah, yeah. Yes. On Saturday, we walked um, in the footsteps of Patterson, Bishop Patterson, around where he lived. What was it like to be on the Patterson Way pilgrimage? When I come here, it's, it's so great and joyful for me when, when I walk with companions and, and the brothers to see how the missions of this great man, Bishop Patterson, and through him, the people in Solomon Islands become a Christians and they know Christ in, in their life and it's, it's a great and it's their pioneer missionary which it shows that bring them to Christ. Yeah. Yeah, so Bishop Patterson bring light to the people in Solomon Island. Okay, thank you. And the Melanesian Brotherhood, you've been head brother and now your brother Harry. Um, what does um, the Melanesian Brotherhood, what is it about? Three qualities of life, a life of prayer, a life of study, and a life of work. So if you're not studying, you're working. Yeah. But what time do you have to get up in the morning to pray? We get up in the morning, just about four o'clock in the morning. Four o'clock? Yeah, to prepare ourselves. Right. Yeah. But it's not all work. You do, what do they do to relax, the brothers? Uh, football and volleyball, these are things which okay. the brothers need. Yeah. Okay, football, volleyball, yeah. bit of swimming. So, and, and also we have to train the brothers how to swim because our mission most of our time will travel by boats. So the brothers need to know how to swim because some of them are bushmen. Okay. They, never, they never see okay. and they didn't know how to swim. Do you train them how to fight crocodiles? <laughs> That's a great thing. It's, it's a dangerous in Solomon Island. And we have a lot of uh, sharks and crocodiles, but it's, it's a fate that we have to defend all these things here. Yeah. Okay. And I know you've got a particular uh, commemoration towards the end of April this year, haven't you? Because it's the uh, 20th year of um, the martyrs. Do you, yes. What's yes, that yes. about? Uh, uh, when we go back from, from here to Solomon Island, we will have a 20 year celebration for the Seven Martyrs Brothers, which is did you, during the ethnic tension, they have conflict between the Solomon Islands and the brothers bring peace and the seven mothers brothers will lay their life in, for the peace of Solomon Island in Wedekos and they offer their life for the people in Solomon Island. Yeah, so this part of the work and mission of the brothers has been peacekeeping in the past and, and some of the brothers paid the highest price for that. Okay, thank you. And what do you think we could learn from the church in Melanesia? What do you think we need that you, as part of the wider church family, you could teach us? What I've not seen is the young people, where they are. Yeah. Because it is our Christian duty to build up the church of God is for the whole community yeah, to build up and to be together, united as one in fellowship. When we go to Solomon Islands, there are a lot of young people and youths are coming to church all the time. But yeah. when you come here, I see a lot of things which is, they are busy on their works and their ministry. But the important things is, how should we bring them? Yeah. How should we bring them? It I, is our Christian duty. Yeah, I think well, we could do with a lot of help about yeah. help, how to help pass on our faith um, from one generation to another. So we look forward to a partnership there. Well, thank you both very much for sharing with us. And we really appreciate this partnership we have. 13,000 miles apart, Devon to Melanesia. So thank you very much for visiting us. Thank you. Thank you so much, Bishop Mark.